Hey, welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle. And if you're a dedicated student of the gun, you may already know that uh, just this last week, I participated in a live uh, panel online, or well, actually it was on the internet. It was broadcast live. Uh, it was a gun control debate. And it was myself and one other pro-gun person versus the uh, the moderator who was anti-gun and then three other anti-gun people so it essentially turned out to be a four versus two uh, scheme right there but uh, I wanted to come to you guys today in the homeroom and I wanted to talk about the lies that the left tells and we're just gonna have to wrap our minds around this and call a lie a lie don't let them get away with this bull crap okay and uh, one of the, after uh, the debate was over with, um, I went back through it and I, I watched it again. And it amazes me that these people can look, you know, they're, they're essentially, they're either um, deliberately or woefully naive, uh, and they're useful idiots, uh, or they're very purposeful, purposeful and deliberate liars, and they're just social elitists that want to disarm you and leave themselves with armed guards and armed security and armed police because they're the enlightened ones. Uh, but you peasants, you can't be allowed guns. And here's why. Um, one of the lies that uh, one of the people told was this. I'll give you this one. Well, here's what this ninja from uh, the Brady campaign said. He goes, he said, we just want rational and uh, reasonable gun control measures because it's too easy for these bad people to get guns right he says we more background checks stricter background checks it's like dudes have you filled out um a uh, form 4473 lately all you gun people holy crap that, that we're almost to the point of having to get give a blood or a dna sample okay we're that close right now uh so this dude says, he says, well, every year, 40% of all gun sales um, have no, or, or in, in occur without a background check. And I asked him, I said, where do you get that stat? Oh, I've, I've done it. I've been there. This is what Genius says to me. He said, so first of all, right, let's go ahead and examine that. Like the, the 40,000 cases of elder abuse go unreported every year. So you're telling me that 40% of all gun sales annually uh, um, are conducted without a background check. Okay, and here's where the analytical brain comes in. Okay, if it was conducted without a background check, therefore unreported, how do you know how many there are? There could be two, four, eight, a thousand, a million. How do you know if a background check, if Uncle Sam wasn't called on the phone, if they didn't call and request permission from the government to transfer the gun to this person, how the hell do you know how many? It's bogus. It's bull crap. That was bullshit. And you're not supposed to think about it. You're just supposed to say, well, that is, you know, I can see we need to have... Don't believe the lies, okay? I got another one for you. Same dude. This is how... Uh, the Brady campaign, if you're watching me, suck it. But otherwise, you need to upgrade your list of lies. This is what Homie told me. This is what he said on the debate. He says, well, uh, I've gone out, I went to gun shows in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Virginia, Indiana, whatever, you know. And he says, I've just been able to walk up and buy AK-47s, Tech 9s, Mac 11s, and other 9 millimeters." And that's a quote from Genius. So I'm like, really? I laughed. I was like, Tech Nines, huh? Did you get in a time machine and go back to 1985 to buy all your Tech Nines? Where are all these Tech Nines? Um, hasn't that company been out of business uh, for forever? Okay, and hopefully the bad guys are buying Tech Nines because I'm sorry, it was a jamomatic and it was junk. So if the bad guys are going to own guns, I want them to own Tech Nines. Okay, and a Mac 11? So, uh, first of all, a, the, the Mac 10 chambered the 45 ACP cartridge. It was made by Ingram. Okay, and the reason it chambered the 45 ACP was because not only was it the most popular cartridge uh, for handguns in, the United, handguns in the United States at the time, uh, it was also subsonic, and they could put a suppressor on it and shoot it subsonic. The Mac 11 chambered the 380 ACP 
Sparky, not the 9mm. And again, it was a subsonic round based upon the original 45 ACP. So Homie expects me to believe that he's going into gun shows and buying Mac 11s without any kind of a background check. Who's been to a gun show lately? I have. Okay, all the dealers at the gun shows have cell phones and um, wireless credit card swipers. And when you buy a gun at a gun show, the guy gets on his cell phone, he makes the call, and he gets approval and does the paperwork and gives you the gun. I don't know what gun show though homie is going to there, but you guys at Brady, you need to update your lies a little bit, you know, from uh, the Tech 9. Apparently that's the biggest thing we need to worry about in America right now is the guy from the Brady campaign going to gun shows and purchasing Tech 9s. That was bullshit. Uh, another one. Uh, <laughs> I asked him, I said, hey, so... Uh, if gun control is so great and it works so well, uh, explain to me why Chicago, Illinois, the, the city in America that has the strictest gun control in the whole nation, the entire nation with the exception of maybe Washington, D.C., has the strictest gun control, why does it have the highest murder rate and the highest crime rate? And this is what Homie told me. He looks at, his, at the camera and he says, well, it's, it's due to the easy access that... Um, other people have or are around Chicago. So let me see. The people around Chicago have too much freedom. That's why there's such violence in the city of Chicago. So we can't hold the people, the villains, the evil gangbangers and nasty folks in Chicago. It's not their fault that they're so violent and there's so much murder. It's the fault of all the those freedom-loving people uh, that surround Chicago. Well, first of all, the state of Illinois only is a little bit better than the city of Chicago when it comes to firearms ownership. Okay, so it's not like, you know, the right outside of Cook County, everything is Wild West and you can just buy guns in the Bacara market. All right, uh, Illinois is pretty tight, uh, the entire state. So, but we need to curtail the liberties of the people in the surrounding areas to protect the people in Chicago and to make gun control work there. Uh, that was bullshit. Uh, oh, they had on this panel, if some of you guys watched it, you probably got a good laugh out of it. Uh, they had a British citizen who was uh, talking about gun control. And, you know, in my mind, or Gun control is bullcrap, first of all. If you watch the last homeroom, it's civilian disarmament. It's who gets to have the guns. That's all it's about. But uh, this guy uh, from Great Britain tried to convince the audience that, that since the wonderful, um, reasonable gun control uh, went into effect in Australia and in, the, in Great Britain and the United Kingdom, since those went into effect, um, the instances of violent crime, and there hadn't been one mass shooting... Okay, maybe there hadn't been a mass shooting, but there's been a ton of individual ones. Uh, in Australia, in 2006, five years, I think it was five or six years, after they instituted their sweeping gun ban, the, it, the uh, instances of reported assaults on citizens rose 49% in one year. 49%. Uh, that's a huge jump, okay? Uh, in, in Great Britain, home invasions are an epidemic. And they say, what's a home invasion? Well, okay, there's burglaries where a guy sneaks in and he waits till you're off at the movies or the restaurant with your wife and he breaks the back window and he goes in and he takes your TV. Okay, that's a burglary. Nobody's at home. Okay, in the United States of America, home invasions, although they've been on the rise in certain areas, are relatively low because burglars know, bad guys know, in America, you know, where people, citizens own guns, if I go bust that door in, chances are good somebody will be in there and they'll shoot me. So I'll go up and pound on the door, nobody answers it, and I have, aha, no one's home. I bust the door down, I go in and I rob them. Okay. Home invasions are, I'm coming in whether you're there or not. I don't care if you're there, I'm going to bust the door down and I'm coming in and I'm bringing my buddies with me. Okay, In the United States, it's, uh, although it is horrifying, it's still relatively rare. In Great Britain, half of the burglaries or the uh, robberies at home are home invasions. 50%. Why is that? 
Well, it's because if you're a crook in Great Britain, you don't have to worry about the homeowner shooting you. If he shoots you, you can sue him. And he's probably not going to anyway because they're so restricted in their gun ownership that the chances of you encountering an armed homeowner is pretty darn slim. So, uh, but, but Homie was trying to, to tell me, uh, that my, this British Homie, was trying to tell me how wonderful and what a panacea it is now in Australia and Great Britain. And we in America need to get on board with the rest of the civilized world and apparently just become comfortable slaves like they are. So uh, those are just some of the lies that the left will tell you. Don't buy into them. But what should you buy? Well, you should buy my book, for one thing. If you haven't bought Student of the Gun, A Beginner Wants a Student for Life, you should do that. So, uh, For all things Student of the Gun, where are you going to go? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com. We'll see you next time.